The NBC show made it popular. Now the sport of ninja is growing in the triangle. Watching the strength and agility through the obstacles is mesmerizing, isn't it? It's also scary. And through the thrill, parents are seeing their children thrive, even as young as two, as they watch them learn how to be a ninja. Is there anyone who hasn't tried the trampoline jump yet? I just, everything about it is so cool. Kick those legs back. Well, the sport is insanely fun. Coach Achiri Acha leads these little ninjas through different obstacles. Swing and go. At USA Ninja Challenge in Durham. You swing backwards, hands come together. You zoom. We have to learn a lot of technique to get to the point where we can actually be like truly flying through the air. Instead of climbing trees or the walls at home. Nice job. Special delivery. Kids can focus that energy at a ninja gym safely. I believe in you. They learn agility. You want to go fast. Balance. Nice. Good timing. And how to fall. And it's not just physically transitioning, which is difficult, but mentally transitioning. OK, this is my plan for this obstacle. I'm going with my feet here. Now all of a sudden, I've got to grab, and I'm turning my body sideways. Coach Achiri knows what he's talking about. He was a contestant on American Ninja Warrior briefly. Like before I did it, I watched the show and I was like, oh, I can do that. I mean, it's fun. Uh, it's up high. It's up a lot higher than you think it is. Like when you get up there, you're like, oh, wow. OK, this, the water is way down there. <laughs> Ready? As a coach, Achiri considers 12-year-old John David Spatola one of his greatest success stories. John David won a World Ninja Championship in his age group when he was 11, known as the dude. Gabriel, I'm going to swing off this. He already has years of ninja under his belt. I love how humans are able to hang from stuff and fly through the other stuff. John David comes from a family of champions. He's longtime Duke basketball coach Mike Krzyzewski's grandson. And his dad, Chris, was a player and is now a basketball broadcaster. I've always felt like I had to stick with basketball, but just because of my family doesn't, but I, I'm doing what I love to do and what I want to do and accomplishing what I want. He still plays basketball for fun, but his heart, his drive to compete is on this playing field. It's thrilling to watch. So his mom, Jamie, is navigating the new sport of being a ninja mom. And I'll ask him, how did you do that? And he'll be like, oh, you know, you just, you know, swing your hips and you kip, you kip. I don't even know what that word means. Like, it, oh, okay. Her two daughters are also on board. Board, one starting at the age of three. And the other thing that I really love about being a ninja parent is you can really see progress. Can't do it and they can't do it and then all of a sudden they can. Aside from the thrill, yeah, I'll do a rope swing into it. the workout, the progress, and the support of the ninja community. You just give it your best shot. That's bravery right there. They also learn how to navigate the obstacles of life. As soon as they start training, they're failing over and over again. And it's important because in life you're going to fail a lot over and over again. So, you know, being comfortable with it is going to make you a better athlete because you're willing to keep trying. That's also going to make you a better person. No fear of failure. So much of what they talked about was progression. Start off at any level and then work your way up to doing different obstacles. John David says he wants to keep competing and maybe even coach one day. So much like Grandpa Dan. The way he talks, he sounds a oh, little yeah. like Coach he K, really does. doesn't he? You know, speak, Absolutely. Speaking of Grandpa, Coach K, he probably doesn't want to be called Grandpa. Sorry, Coach. But uh, he did receive the state's highest honor today. 